Hey guys, just a quick little introduction here real quick. In this video that you're about to watch, we shoot this deer with a 375 shot tack. Now we hunted three nights to get this one deer. And I'm gonna to try to put in some of the footage from all three nights, because we did see a couple bucks. I think we got some good footage of some bucks on camera, but it just wasn't the bucks that I wanted to shoot. So we didn't shoot them and we hunted three different nights in the evenings to shoot this deer and I hunted over the same field that I hunted last year that just had does, does, does every night in it and then this year we hunted it and the does just didn't seem to want to come out. We saw more bucks in it than we saw does but finally tonight, last day of deer season in Kentucky, um, this deer came out and I was able to take her. Now she wasn't as far away as I was hoping. She was 187 yards when I shot her. And uh, I was hoping for more like 400 and something yards, but that's where she was. And it didn't take us very long to get her. After we got to the range, it was pretty quick set up and here she come. But if you wanna watch the rest of the video, um, there's three different nights in there. There'll be a couple of deer. I think we got some turkeys. I don't know for sure if we were filming the turkeys or not, but you can watch the video if you want to. You'll get to see this shot on the video at the end. And um, it's not the greatest deer hunting video in the world, but it's what we got done for this year with a 375 shot attack here at Hankins Custom Rifles. So at the end of the video, give me a thumbs up. And um, coming up in December, We've got a week-long muzzleloader season, and we'll try to do some more video for you uh, coming up in December for that weekend, that week of deer season there. So until next time, guys, watch the video, and we'll see you later. Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. Today is November 23rd, Thanksgiving Day. It's uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. Me and Mindy's had our Thanksgiving dinner, and decided to come to the range today and bring this new rifle that I just finished up and see if we can't shoot a deer or two with it tonight. Now this is a 375 shy tech They use this rifle a lot for thousand yard bench rest competitions type of stuff and I built this gun for a guy that's going to go on a buffalo hunt. He got drawled to do a buffalo hunt somewhere I think out in Yellowstone and uh, or around Yellowstone National Forest or Park and and we started building this gun a long time ago anticipating for this hunt but it is now done this is a 375 shy tech it's built on a stiller tack 408 action it's got a brooks barrel on it one and ten twist it's 29 inches long we finished it out and put a magnum muscle brake on the end for recoil reduction the rifle scope that we have on here is a night force uh, 8 to 32 by 56 and um, Night Force rings, a 20 MOA Picatinny rail that came with the action from Stiller. The stock is a Manners T5A that I did a custom paint job on. We did kind of a, a neat looking little camouflage paint job on this stock. Painted all the metal black so we've got it all Cerakoted. And um, it's got a big seven round magazine but you can look at the difference here in the cartridges the cartridge the big cartridge is the 375 and the small cartridge is a 308 Winchester so if any of you guys are looking for a 375 or a 408 shy tech rifle and you want me to build it give me a holler I can build this for about half the price that the shy tech USA company builds their rifles for this this rifle from shy tech USA was a ten thousand eight hundred dollars and that's without a scope on it of course and I can build this gun for you for about half of that so let me know if you you want to get one of these they they shoot unbelievable um, I shot it some the other day at 450 yards and it was just driving tax so to speak so we're going to try to shoot a deer with it tonight if anything comes out. And we've got 450 yards here almost that we can shoot. So hopefully they'll be coming out here in just a little while. You guys stay tuned. If we get anything on camera, you all be the first to see it.
I can only get the ones on the right. Hello guys, we're back for round two. Today is November 25th, two days after Thanksgiving. We sat down here the other night, we saw a couple of deer, had a few bucks run around the field, had a couple does come across, but they ran across that field so fast we couldn't even get the camera on them and I'm not gonna shoot them if we ain't got the camera on, so we just let them go. Um, had a few things we had to do yesterday so we couldn't get over here yesterday afternoon, but we're back tonight. Hopefully everything will cooperate with us it's a little warmer so we don't have to wear so much clothes and right now the wind is not hardly blowing at all so let's hope we got some deer come out tonight and just meander around down there in that whitetail clover and we'll shoot one or two of them i'd like to shoot two of them because i haven't killed a deer yet and season's over tomorrow we'd like to have some deer meat to chew on but um, hopefully we'll kill two of them with this 375 shy tech before i send it off to phil so that he can kill a buffalo with it. So stay tuned. If we see him, you'll see him. is November the 26th this is day three now that we've tried to shoot a deer with this 375 shy tech I've never seen it so hard to kill a daggone deer down here at the range all we're seeing is bucks we saw a pretty nice one yesterday we saw a nice one on Thanksgiving day it's just the does just don't seem to be cooperating with us. I don't want to shoot a little buck and waste my tag because I might get the opportunity to shoot a nice one come muzzleloader season in December. So 
this is the last day of the Kentucky gun season. So if we don't kill a deer tonight, guys, it's over. It's done. It'd be the first deer season I think I've ever went through here in Kentucky that I didn't shoot a deer. But I've seen a lot of deer this season, just not one that I wanted to shoot. And now all I'm looking for is a little skinhead, and I can't even find one of those. But tonight's the last night, fellas, so stay with us and thumbs up, and let's hope we can get one tonight. We'll see you in a little bit. She's down. I saw her go down. She's on the hill right down there. Okay. I lost her. I couldn't find her. Yeah, she went down. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know how well you could see that in the camera, but we just shot a deer. It's down, it's laying right over there. It ran a lot farther than I thought it was gonna run. It was 187 yards. And um, standing broadside, 375 Shi-Tec solid copper bullets with a uh, plastic point in them. They're designed for hunting, but these little white-tailed deer probably don't make them bullets expand very well. So we definitely got one down. We're gonna sit here a few more minutes. Maybe another one will come out. If we get lucky, we'll shoot another one. Well, guys, we quit hunting it a little bit early just so we could get down here and get this deer out before it got dark. Now, it's amazing that these animals can run when you shoot them. Here's the exit hole, and that's as big as a golf ball. I'm sure it I went through both lungs. It didn't hit the heart, but I hit the tail end of both lungs, and she still ran a total of... She ran all the way across that field. That's about 40 yards. Back across this way, that's another 40. Up the hill, 20. This deer ran up probably 100 yards, but she's dead. We'll get her loaded up, take her home. It looks like a pretty mature doe. She's got a big old growth here on her, on her eye. I've seen them do that before. And uh, she might make some good eating. I stayed off those front shoulders and it stayed out of the back straps. So we didn't really run a lot of meat, but she did run a lot farther than I thought she would have ran, being the fact we shot her with a 375 shot tech, but it's just not the right bullet for what we were doing with it today. So we'll get to the shop and um, I'll get her hung up.